Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Alumide McCauley. On today's program, AKT State gets a new law. The federal government thinks outside the box to promote food sufficiency. And the Ogun State Government begins the beautification of the state. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin in the southwestern region of the country now. And the anti-grazing law of Ekiti State has been signed. One of the highlights is a charge of terrorism spelled out for cattle rearers who also carry arms while grazing their stock. Addressing legislators and traditional leaders across the 16 local government areas before whom he signed the bill, the governor of the state, Mr. Ayodele Fayoshi, said it was necessary to preserve peace in Ekiti State. Shock and confusion ensued in the wake of attacks by suspected herdsmen in parts of Ekiti State, which left some people dead and others injured. Special advisor, special this spurred the state government into passing a law to check such occurrences. In the presence of members of the State House of Assembly, as well as traditional chiefs, Governor Fayashe signed the grazing bill into law. In the law, grazing time is restricted to the hours between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. daily. And anyone caught grazing of portions of land or any family land not allotted by the government shall be apprehended and made to face the full wrath of the law. It's a crucial bill that has become a law in Ekiti State that will regulate the activity of Katuriara, the incessant killing of our people and destruction of agricultural products across the state. The new law also stipulates that anyone caught with firearms while grazing cattle will be charged with treason and his cattle confiscated. Governor Fayashe, who says the move is necessary to give the residents a sense of security, also promises that offenders will no longer get away with their unlawful activities. When there's no law, you can get away with it. But now there's law. We don't want to continue to lose our people to miscrimes who claim to be ex-men. This is our country, and Nigeria belongs to all of us. We have laws guiding us, and every state has their bylaws. We would want the federal government to equally support what we are doing and work in the overall interest of Nigeria. According to the grazing law, the amount of farm produce destroyed by the herdsmen will be levied on the culprits. And cattle rebels who violate any of the laid down rules shall face six months imprisonment without option of fine. Now, the National Biotechnology Development Agency says it's exploring biotechnological resources across the country to ensure food security, wealth creation, affordable health care delivery, as well as a sustainable environment. The Director General of the agency, Professor Lucy Ogbadu, said this in Ilori, the Kwara State Capital, when she paid a courtesy call on the Governor, Mr. Abdul Fattah Ahmed, who promised to partner with them to encourage agriculture. Of course, one quick one that comes to mind is agriculture. We see a lot of inflow of agricultural produce and of course agricultural products into the country, which reflects the fact that we have not tapped our latent potentials to achieve what we want to consume. And I think the need to critically look at our yields, to look at our productivity in these areas, of course, uh, fingers the fact that we need to go deep into our production process and a quick look into it tells you that genetical engineering is one of the areas we need to give good uh, attention to improve on yield 
what we have in agriculture. Also in Kwara State, but this time to security, where the Kwara State Police Command has inaugurated the Eminent Persons Forum to help reduce crime. Individuals selected to be in that forum are expected to help fight crime. The inauguration is in compliance with a directive from the Inspector General of Police. Addressing members of the group, the State Commissioner of Police, Olushola Amore, explained that fighting crime is the responsibility of the police and sister security agencies, but even they need help to achieve a safer society. He appealed to them to encourage those in their sphere of influence to help the police as much as possible, promising to carry everyone along in the community. The Eminent Persings Forum was created by the Inspector General of Police to involve the community in tackling security issues. It's believed that leaders in the community can play a big role in community policing. Individuals selected to be a part of the forum include traditional rulers, religious and community leaders, retired public servants, leaders of market associations and transporters. They are to meet every month with resolutions passed to the police high command for deliberations. These are representatives of the JOS Forum in Plateau State, North Central Nigeria. The State Police Commissioner tells the newly inaugurated members what's expected of them. The richness of it is that members are held in high esteem in our communities. They are to hold meetings monthly and their resolutions shall be immediately passed to the Police High Command for necessary action. The mandate of the forum is to discuss germane issues and problems in the society vis-à-vis -vis police preventive and proactive role and provide solutions. The police command in Kwara State, also in the north central region, inaugurated its own eminent persons forum with an appeal from the state police commissioner for members to see the fight against crime as everyone's responsibility. Security is the business of everybody. It's not only the business of the police. And that is why when I came into Kwara State, I kept propagating that my police style is community oriented. Community oriented police, that members of the community will be involved in the way they are police. And it was for this reason that I asked all the video and myself to write our phone number on the wall of the police station and the enterprise. All states of the Federation are expected to hold regular meetings to discuss security issues and challenges and proffering solutions to help security agencies achieve a safer country. And in the southeast, 39 men suspected to be members of a cult group have been arrested by police in Imo State. The suspects were apprehended in Oweri, the state capital, while they allegedly gathered for an initiation party. Men of the Imo State Police Command are reported to have acted on a tip-off that some suspected cult members were planning to disrupt the peace of Nekede Axis during their initiation party. Suspected cultists who convert in the aforementioned locations for initiation and other cult activities were rounded up. Items recovered from the suspects include three talking drums of different sizes, satchets of salt, acid in bottles, pellets, emblems, knives, and cakes of pan wine, including. Uh, the locally uh, produced Uguru in bottles. Through investigation has commenced with a view of charging the suspects to court accordingly. This will serve as a note, a, a, a word of notice for us, especially those who are criminally minded, that we shall be after them. Our intention is to eradicate crime totally in this state. While they are making efforts to do this, I will warn parents to want their works against joining the federal guns who participated in party who participated in the federal activities. And for anybody arrested will be charged to court as usual. 
You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up in the South South, we'll take a second look at the proposed legislation to legalize street trading in Cross River State. Please stay with us.